Hey everybody, this is Darren Van Dam, and you are watching Flick Connection, the show that helps you get more out of movies, and today we're going to be talking about 10 amazing but lesser known movies you can currently catch for free on the Tubi app. So Tubi is a free app, it's free to use, it's available on pretty much anywhere you stream movies, and you don't even have to sign up to have an account, although if you do, you can then make a watch list. Tubi does feature ads, but out of all the free streaming services that run ads, I find Tubi's ads to be more spread out and shorter in duration and a lot less annoying as a result. So it's one of my favorite free ones to use, and right now there are 10 amazing movies hiding out on that platform, but we're gonna start this list off all the way at the back at number 10 with a little known movie that stars James McAvoy called Filth. Now in this movie he plays a Scottish detective who is a complete scumbag in the truest sense of the word. Not once in this movie does he do anything redeemable, yet the story manages to work. You follow his story along pretty well and you enjoy watching him. I will warn you though, this one goes to a very strange place. It caught me off guard and I've seen this more than once and it caught me off guard the second time I watched it too. It's so bizarre and even though this movie's only a few years old, I feel like the weird twist in this would maybe not fly today. I feel like there are a couple of groups that might have a problem with this movie's take on it. That's as vague as I'm gonna be. But the movie's got a cool style. It reminds me of movies like Train Spotting a little bit at times. It's got kind of a cool soundtrack. James McAvoy is great in it. Some of the supporting cast is really great. It's got a lot of good elements, but if you are easily offended by anything, do not watch this movie because chances are it is gonna upset you in more ways than one. But let's go ahead and move on with the rest of this list. Now, even though I gave you a big warning for filth, my next pick is easily the most disturbing movie on this list and the one that you should watch with the most caution. However, horror fans will really enjoy The Void. Now this is one that has grown in popularity over the years and it jumps around on different streaming services. I've recommended it when it was been on Netflix, but it's been missing for quite a while. It's hanging out over here on Tubi free to watch. This one's reminiscent of movies like John Carpenter's The Thing. It's got this sort of trippy psychedelic element to it, this interdimensional thing, cult elements, and it's a gore fest with a lot of practical effects which you don't see a lot anymore. That's one of the reasons this movie has not only held up, but has really continued to grow in popularity over time. It's serious, it's dark, it's brooding, it's got this cool 80s vibe. It's got a lot of great elements to it. If you like movies like this, this is a total gem that is not to be missed. In Order of Disappearance is one of only two foreign language movies on this list, and they actually made an American remake starring Liam Neeson that was okay. But In Order of Disappearance is a really cool, I wanna say dark comedy. It's not overly funny, and no way is this a knee slapper or anything, but some of the murder and mayhem that goes on in this movie is done a little bit tongue in cheek. It's got a little bit of a Fargo element to it at times. And then it's also got a really wild story with these you know, crazy villains and the snowplow driver that's taking people out in these interesting ways. In fact, it's so good that the Liam Neeson American remake is actually still pretty decent because the source material was so clever and interesting and deserved to be remade. Just a good little gem if you like crime thrillers, things like that, especially little quirky type things, this one's well worth reading subtitles for. My next pick is a Western that's got a huge cast with Viggo Mortensen, Renee Zellweger, Jeremy Irons, and Ed Harris, and this movie was directed by Ed Harris, and even though it is quite good, time has kind of forgotten Appaloosa. In this movie, Ed Harris and Viggo Mortensen play two hired guns that are trying to protect a small town. It's a pretty typical setup for a Western, but this one is beautifully shot, and the fact that it was done in 2008, it's updated, it's modern, the camera equipment and everything, the movie looks beautiful and you don't see many westerns that have been done in the last I want to say 10 years but this movie's 13 years old but still the last 20 years or so there's only a handful of really good westerns this is one of them and for some bizarre reason has been completely forgotten about if it's been a while since you've seen a good western especially one that was made this century Appaloosa is a fantastic pick and then we will round out my bottom five on this list with another fantastic western from the 90s with a huge cast that again time has forgotten about 
and that is Last Man Standing, which starts Bruce Willis, Bruce Dern, Michael Imperioli, Leslie Mann, and Christopher Walken as a excellent bad guy, one of the best he's ever played. However, this is not your typical Western at all. It's more of a hybrid between a Prohibition era gangster movie and a Western. There are too many shootouts in this movie to count and way too many bullets to count. Literally, I don't know that they ever reload a gun once in this movie. It's silly, it's over the top, it's a total gem. Even if it doesn't feel realistic ever, it's still just an amazing piece of entertainment to watch. There are only a handful of things that go well with a movie, like a comfortable seat and a really good snack, which is why I continue to promote Universal Yums as one of the main sponsors of this channel. I love this service. I have had it for well over a year now, and every single month, they send a new box packed with snacks to my front doorstep, and each month, it comes from a surprise country. I never know where it's coming from, I never know what's gonna be in it, but it's always delicious stuff, and usually one or two things in there that's a little bit too weird for me, but still very interesting and different to experience. Right now, you can go to the link in the description below and sign up for one of three different boxes at three different price points. I get the big box every month, and honestly, we have trouble finishing it. There's so much stuff in this thing. And it's not just snacks to stuff in your face, it's an experience. Because it's coming from a different country every single month, you get a bunch of other stuff in the box, facts, games, little things that you can fill out and send back in to sort of vote on your favorite things. So every single month when the box arrives, I pick out a movie that came from or was filmed in or takes place in the country associated with that box and me and my wife make a night of it. It ends up being a fun date night that we can have at home that's not crazy expensive. I love it, cannot recommend it enough. Again, go to the link in the description, sign up for your box, you can cancel it anytime, but I don't think you're gonna want to because it is just a ton of fun. But speaking of a ton of fun, let's move on with the top five on this list. The only documentary featured on this list is featured because it is one heck of a story. This is actually done on a fairly low budget with not very good quality to a lot of the filming, but the story is so gripping, you're not going to be able to stop watching Dear Zachary. Now, this is a story of a man who was murdered. You get that pretty early on in the documentary, but basically what's happening here is that this guy who was murdered, his best friend decides to film a movie about him to show to his son who was born immediately after he died. That's why it's called Dear Zachary. However, in the process of filming this documentary, he begins to uncover the mystery of why he was murdered, and it is wild, heart-wrenching stuff. And I don't say that lightly. This one is going to make most of you cry, but it is so incredibly gripping, you're not gonna be able to stop watching it. I have watched this documentary multiple times over the past 15 years or so. It's that good. In fact, I probably should have it higher up, but my top four on this list are, are just incredible movies. So that's why Dear Zachary is placed where it is. One of the most intense movies I've ever seen Michael Caine in is called Harry Brown. Now, let that sink in for a minute. Michael Caine has been in a ton of stuff, including The Dark Knight. I consider Harry Brown to be not only his most intense performance, but some of the most intense scenes I've ever seen Michael Caine in or in this movie. This is a dark, grungy movie about an older man who has had enough and starts to exact some street vengeance. It's kind of in the vein of Death Wish with Charles Bronson. There's different motivations and a different vibe here, but it's just expertly done. Again, some of the scenes, the tension is so insane in this movie. It's almost off the charts. If you like darker, grungier crime movies, Harry Brown is not to be missed. Now, just by chance, we've had two Westerns on this list already. I didn't do that on purpose. It's just the way I've picked out these movies. I've got a neo-Western called Way of the Gun, and then I've got one more on this list by the time we get to my number one pick. But The Way of the Gun is an excellent modern day Western. Now, I say modern day, this movie came back out around 2000, so it's that modern day. But it's basically about a couple of bandits played by Benicio Del Toro and Ryan Phillippe, but they kidnap a pregnant woman played by Juliette Lewis in order to hold her ransom. She is the surrogate for a wealthy family. James Caan plays this aging gangster, which he was perfectly cast in this movie. It's one of my favorite roles I've ever seen Tay Diggs do. You got multiple excellent shootouts that are not only entertaining to watch, but they're very clever in the way that they play out. 
This has just been an underrated movie for way too long. It's got a rough edge to it. There's an opening sequence with Sarah Silverman. If that turns you off, then this movie's probably not gonna be for you, but I have a feeling a lot of my fans, as soon as you see that opening scene, you're gonna know that I've picked out a good one for you with Way of the Gun. All right, I told you I've got two foreign language movies on this list. The next one is Spanish language, and it is a time travel movie. And it's one of the best time travel movies I've ever seen. It's up there. It's easily in the top 10 of all time. It's called Time Crimes. Now this one does take a little bit of time getting in, but all of the slowness that you'll experience in the first 20 to 30 minutes comes right back. It's setting up a lot of stuff that you're not going to realize. It is excellent in the way that it plays with your brain and the way that the time travel works. It's fairly simple, so it is easy to follow for a while, and then the movie just gets really crazy. It turns into this almost like a slasher movie with this crazy twisted plot that again, you can follow, but it is wild, wild stuff. And I haven't seen it on streaming services in quite a while, so I'm super excited to mention it. If you don't mind reading subtitles at all, I highly recommend this movie. And then we will wrap up with technically another foreign film, but this one's from Australia, so it is English language. Some of you already know I'm talking about The Proposition. This is from director John Hillcote. I think it's easily his best movie. He would go on to do some other great movies like The Road, Lawless, and Triple Nine, but this is his best work and possibly the best Western to have been made since Clint Eastwood's Unforgiven. And this does take place in the Australian Outback, so while it is a familiar Western type story, it's in a slightly different landscape. The music was composed by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis, some of my favorite musicians, so I love the sound of this movie. And this was even written by Nick Cave, which I find really interesting. And great performances from a ton of people, like Guy Pearce, who's always great, but he is exceptional here. This is him at the top of his game. Ray Winston's got a great role. Emily Watson's in it, and you've got like a great little role from John Hurt and some other character actors that show up for little periods of time. Just great grungy stuff. It is intense, there is sexual assault depicted, there's a whipping scene, like it's brutal stuff, but it's handled really, really well. Even if you don't typically like westerns, but you do like my recommendations, this is a top tier pick. It's one of my favorite movies to have come out this century. I love it, I watch it every few years. I even listen to the soundtrack. I'm kind of a nerd for this movie, if you can't tell. But that is the list. Those are my 10 picks on Tubi. Again, Tubi is free to use. I don't get paid to say that. I just genuinely like it. There's a lot of free streaming services. I think they handle their ads the best. So go check it out. It's likely available on whatever device you stream movies on. But let me know of any other hidden gems I should check out on Tubi right now in the comment section below. Also help me thank the Patreon supporters. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, there's a link in the video description below. There is also also a link down there where you can become a channel member and get access to exclusive movie reviews right here on YouTube. But I will keep making these videos as long as you keep watching them. Thanks for checking out this Tubi list and you will see me on the next one.